morning guys what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is danielle hey what's up um i just made some coffee so today i'm gonna be doing a video a lot of you guys requested i look so bad i'm not wearing makeup my hair is natural I'm trying to just do that more just because i can <laughs> um i'm gonna be doing a social distancing day in my life so this is me throughout the day doing things that are trying to social distance obviously i'm living in my house with my family so we're just going to be all together, but um, just things I've been doing to keep busy and just keep loving life. Honestly, I'm really trying to use this time um, and use my channel to be super positive and just bring you guys out of reality for a second or inspire you to, you know, make your reality a little bit happier. So right now um, it's almost 10 a.m. My brother and I are here and we thought it'd be fun. We're, we're very blessed. We live in an awesome place where we can, you know, be outside and it's sunny and I'm so thankful for it. And I'm, my heart goes out to some of you guys that are living up north or in colder weather. Um, and I'll make a video kind of about like things to do in colder weather, blah, blah, blah. But this is my day in my life. So I want to take you guys along and do a little vlog. You guys love the vlogs. Um, we're going for a little boat ride, just Freddie and I just around. And obviously I could just like go on the boat in you know, my t-shirt and shorts, what I woke up in, honestly, and sometimes I have been doing that, but I thought it'd be fun to, you know, get dressed up a little bit, you know, I don't know, it just, like, makes me happier, um, so we're just gonna go for a boat ride, listen to music, and just, you know, be one with the water, and again, I'm really thankful that we can do that, but that's how we're gonna start the morning, and I couldn't be more excited, I'll show you guys my little outfit, so it's been really fun to be home, because I have, like, all these random clothes that I didn't bring with me to college, that I've just been, like, playing around with and, like, finding, so I'm wearing this like bandana top from Princess Polly. It is so cute. You just like tie it. I just kind of like tucked it in the front because I thought it was like cuter. Um, so it's kind of a tube top vibe. Um, I don't know. I wanted to get some sun while I'm out there too. And then my jean shorts are from Bershka and I absolutely love them. And then I'm just wearing all my same jewelry and then of course the Vince slip-ons. So yeah. Oh, I need to put on some beauty, right? That's important. But yeah, my hair is kind of just all over the place. I'm going to bring a hair tie. And yeah, we're just gonna go for a little boat ride. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, montage. From the boat it was so nice and relaxing and it just made me want to like go back outside so i popped on my bathing suit pro tip if you live anywhere where it's sunny you don't have to live by the beach by any means if it's sunny out go sit in your backyard go sit in your front yard go sit on your roof whatever is your vibe your front porch put on your bathing suit and soak up vitamin d it is so good to be in the sunshine right now go soak up some sun so i just put on this bathing suit from nasty L. I love it. No one's going to see it, but, <laughs> well, you guys are, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to go lay out for a bit. Um, where's my, oh, I have like a perpetual beach bag over here that I just bring down to me, down to the pool with me every time I go. Um, I have this like visor thing and it's so good for tanning. I can still watch TikToks with this on. How sad is that? And then also in here I have got um, my sunscreen. Um, this is the sunscreen I'm using, Neutrogena Beach Defense 30. SPF 30 and then I love this stuff for my face. This is the super goop unseen sunscreen. It's SPF 40 I put it on my face. It feels so mattifying and like good and it smells good and it's just great So yeah, that's kind of what's in my beach bag plus my airpods or I'll like bring a bluetooth speaker So yeah, I'm also gonna add a kombucha and what else do I want to bring? I think that's good. All right, we're gonna go outside and enjoy the sunshine cuz we're just making the best of it
so I just ordered lunch. Been laying out by the pool making TikToks, nothing crazy. Got a burrito bowl with rice, beans, chicken, lettuce, cilantro, tomato. And I was really feeling a Diet Pepsi. I don't really know why, but um, yeah, that's the deal. I hope I bought enough vlog footage. We ended up going out on the boat and Freddie showed me his wake surfing skills. He's so, so good at it. Like, it's crazy. Definitely a little pink. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but I'm just so excited because there is, I always talk about this on my channel, but there's like no better feeling than after like you're out in the sun all day and you come in, you shower, you get all cozied up. And usually I mean like you get dressed and like go to like a nice dinner and like a sundress. That's not the vibe tonight. But I'm really excited to shower, get cozied up in like sweatpants and a sweatshirt and like watch a movie and like chill and I'm just really excited. So updates to come. Wow, I feel like this is like a really gross clip of me, but that's okay. Hi guys, <laughs> you're sitting on a roll of paper towels because our family has switched to paper towels during um, all this craziness so that no one's like using the same hand towels. Like we don't even have them there. So that's one thing you can do. I'm going to use some hand sanitizer. Because whenever I think about it, I do. Um, I'm trying to, it's better to wash your hands actually, um, but we also have like hand sanitizer running around obviously as well. Um, so I thought I'd just like sit and chat with you guys. I kind of want to film like an update video tomorrow um, and just like sit and talk and just like express how I've like been feeling and stuff like a full one. But I thought I would do some skincare and stuff um, and we could chat. Um, I have, I brought back from school the biggest bag of like all my products because I was just like well I mean might as well and I really want to like go through my drawers here and like clean out a ton of products um because I have time I'm gonna use one of these cold pressed pads um to kind of cool off my face <sighs> that shower felt incredible it hit different um so yeah I'm like the most at peace today I would say for sure um it was really hard when I got the email saying that UGA was online for the rest of the semester. I was kind of expecting it, but I kind of was just like, no, like it's not actually gonna happen. Um, and so it definitely like hit hard. The good thing was I got that email when I was at UGA or not at UGA, in Athens, like in my apartment packing up. And I like really wasn't sure like, am I packing for the whole semester or am I packing for a month? Like I really didn't know. I mean, there's only like two-ish months left of the semester anyways, but there's so much fun stuff happening in these next few weeks. I just got canceled, like I don't want to miss Rudy Formal, football games, spring parties, like everything. I mean, nothing, like I'm so thankful for my health and everything like that, but there are stuff that I was looking forward to, obviously, um, and it's just, it stinks because my boyfriend lives in Georgia and we were so used to like going to school together and we were already like preparing for like summer where we don't see each other as much just because we both live in different states. And so I, I was just like, oh, like, I feel like our time got cut short. And obviously this is all, this isn't me like rant. I mean, yeah, I am kind of complaining. No one's happy with their situations right now, but it really hit hard for me. Um, I'm using this Drunk Elephant Night Serum. I've been loving this stuff again. Um, and it just sucked. But the good thing was like, I was with him when I found out. So we could kind of like sit and talk about it. And, not really sure what we're gonna do like I mean we're hoping that like state borders don't get closed and stuff and you know throughout the next month or two we'll be able to drive back and forth um and not like go places just like go to each other's houses um and just like spend time together because I don't know like if any of you guys are in college relationships what are you guys doing right now because it's just like a really weird time um and I mean I know we'll get through it'll be fine it's just like it stings um and i've been like facetiming and like talking to all my friends from school just like every day like we're all just keeping up with each other so much my screen time guys on my phone is absolutely insane right now go over top with this drunk elephant um luxury facial oil i'm just really moisturizing after being in the sun um but where was it where the hell is it? yeah but i'm like the most at peace today and again i just like can't like get over how thankful i am that i live where i live because I can go outside and like, I mean, we can be on our boat and as long as we're just being cautious, like I'm just so thankful, like 
just to be able to see the sunset and I understand that that's not everyone's situation mm -hmm. and I've just been trying to make the most of what I have. My family's definitely gonna get closer from this. You know, it's definitely like, a part of me is like, you know, in a way, like my life was so crazy before all this happened. And I think that's why I had like almost like a little bit of a panic attack because I was like, oh my gosh, like I have so much to do. Like now I have nothing. And it was like really weird. And then the more I've been thinking about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is really good for me to just relax. Like my classes don't start for another week and a half or so. Um, we're doing online classes starting like Monday, March, whatever. And so I like basically have like an extended spring break. I had a three week spring break. I couldn't be more thankful for that. But I'm just like really taking this time to just relax as much as I can, sleep in because I can, because I know eventually when this stuff all, is cl all clears out, which I, I'm hoping and I know it will eventually because we're taking such great precautions that I will be so relaxed and I'll feel so great mentally and just like so prepared. Oh, my alarm's going off. One second. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm also really thankful. This is just gonna come in waves. I feel like we're all gonna feel emotions, but I mean, we really just like have to take this time and make the best out of it because it's not even just for a week, you know? Like this is like a long period of time. My brother and I are currently in the process of trying to convince my mom to get another dog. Two years, or two Decembers ago, um, our dog Miley passed away. It still doesn't feel real. Like, I still miss her every day. It still feels weird not having a dog in the house. Like, they literally hold such a presence. Um, and it's just absolutely crazy. And Freddie and I are just like, th like, when is there going to be another time where both of us are home for basically five months. I mean, like, cause like this is going into the summer. Um, obviously, hopefully I'll get to travel again in the summer, but I mean, in general, I'll be like here and this will be like s such a great time to let, you know, raise a puppy and we can be here to help my mom and everything. And like, obviously I don't want to be selfish. Like I can't get my own dog right now. So I'm obviously like, yeah, mom, get a dog. I mean, it would be the family dog, but now that we're in college, it's like, obviously it'd be a little different. But yeah, we're really trying. Um, I would love another dog that's a doodle of some sort. Miley was an Australian Labradoodle. I love, you know, we're like really obsessed with sheepy doodles, golden doodles, Labradoodles. Like I just love dogs like that because they're hypoallergenic. They don't shed. You can't like smell them. You know, like when you walk in a house and you like smell the dog. I don't know. I just feel like we're not used to that. Um, so we're like definitely in the process of trying to convince my mom. It's really hard, but I just think that would be such a light to this house and dogs like have no idea what's going on right now. So it would just be like a really great distraction and just like a really fun time because we can all be here with the puppy and like raise it. So if you guys want to DM my mom, no, oh my gosh, she'll kill me, but we're really trying to convince her right now. Um, so yeah, and I'm trying, um, my scalp got a little burned, how bad? Um, I'm really trying to use less heat on my hair. I'm taking this time since I'm like not really getting dressed up much. Um, I still actually kind of been getting dressed up as you guys know, just cause like I like to, I want to take like Instagram pictures and stuff, but I'm trying not to use heat on my hair as much because you guys never fail to tell me that my hair is damaged and I know it and um, I'm trying the best I can, but I still want to be blonde and I just, I promise you guys my hair is not cute brown. Like I promise, like I look better blonde, I'm telling you. Um, so I'm taking this time to use less heat on my hair since I've just been like going to the pool and stuff Like I didn't use heat on my hair today and I'm glad I didn't because I ended up getting it wet in the ocean So like that would have just been stupid. So I don't know. Um, I'm trying I use this It's a 10 leave-in product and then like before I go to bed, I'll like sleep in a bun Um, that's what I did last night and my hair looked kind of good this morning ish. It's kind of bedhead vibes or like sleep in braids um So yeah that's kind of the update on that, but I'm trying to just like be more natural, not wear it. Like I didn't wear makeup today at all. Um, so yeah, that's just like a little update. Um, I'm gonna film like a more in depth, like sit down chat video, but so yeah, I'm gonna go back in my room and find something to watch. I feel like this is a fitting candle to light right now. Athens, a little homesick candle. I'm not really homesick yet from Athens by any means. Okay, I just decided that I am going to go ahead and import this footage onto my computer and start editing this because I want this to go up tomorrow. So as you guys are watching this, this literally went up, yes, or I did this yesterday. I want to be current. I'm definitely going to be posting a lot more than Wednesday and Sunday just because I have time and it's fun and why not? So yeah, I'm going to edit this now. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Okay, bye-bye. Subscribe.